human beings require a minimum daily requirement of pleasant activities, of meaningful activities, in order to remain healthy. And when those activities go down, our mood starts to suffer. Before COVID, about 11% of the U.S. adult population said they had anxiety or depressive symptoms. After COVID, it's gone up to 40-some percent. If we could reduce that by half, we should be doing that. What I've done ever since I began being a professor is trying to share what I've learned with as many people as I can by harnessing the power of technology and psychology in order to help people lead lives that feel more fulfilling. When we start feeling depressed, we lose interest in things and we are less likely to do things that we used to enjoy. And sometimes we feel that you know, the reason we don't do them is because we're feeling bad. We strongly recommend that even if you don't feel like doing pleasant things, it would be good for you to do some. When we have problems like COVID or problems getting enough sleep or problems at work and so on, we may begin to have some uh, negative feelings. And then we begin looking for reasons for those feelings. And sometimes those reasons are not the reasons that we're depressed. It could be something as simple as the fact that we're not engaged in the things that usually make us feel good. So the way we treat depression using cognitive behavioral methods is to help people to increase their activity level, especially with activities that are pleasant, that are meaningful, or that involve mastery, a sense of being able to do something well. That really helps. We recommend doing brief activities, such as listening to a song that you like. One of the things that is most important for people is activities that involve other people. Most of our reinforcement in life, most of the things that make life worthwhile, involve other people. Having a phone call with someone or doing FaceTime with someone maybe you haven't talked to for a long time. Sleep is really important. Exercise is important. Eating well is important. Doing these things will actually help to increase your mood level so you'll feel more interest in doing them and that will actually help you to feel better. And then it won't be a chore to do them. In fact, you, you will be doing them more naturally. It's also important to avoid some things. The news can be a real source of stress that can put all sorts of things into your internal world which are really draining. Mindfulness techniques are also useful to be aware of what's going on in your mind and to realize that a thought is just a thought. It's not necessarily reality. And you can decide whether you're going to accept the thought or decide to change it for something that's more energy giving as opposed to draining. At any moment in time, we can think or do something that will improve our mood, leave it as is, or worsen it. And at the end of the day, because of those choices, we can wind up in a healthy mood or in a depressed mood. But to be aware of the choices we're making enough so that on the whole we make choices that are healthy for us is a good thing. 